you think AI with human like versatility is possible in today's world of robotics driven with AI processes and equipped with human like thinking? They are creating solutions that are both taking care of humans as well as providing solutions, making life easier for them, both at home as well as out of home. This is how AI is altogether transforming this world. Imagine an autonomous building taking care of itself without any human intervention. The AI equipped building optimizing air conditioning, temperature, cooling, heating based on AI processes as well as cloud computing, reducing the power consumption as well as making it more comfortable for the occupants. Or imagine an AI companion with you 24x7 that has answers to all your queries as well as it is taking care of your lifestyle and doing everything as you desire. Or a robotic makeup assistant that is doing your makeup as per your skin tone, skin complexion and body contours that turn minutes. It is capable of delivering thousands of lipstick shades. It uses color cartridges and as well as AI driven processes that it could deliver thousands of lipstick shades, bespoke shades that in minutes with a touch of a button. You never ever have to wear the same shade ever again. Same way AI health assistants, taking care of your health, guiding you aptly towards health and wellness regime, your existing health conditions, your health concerns, as well as covering the gaps in the general health knowledge. This all together has been looked after by AI and in another 45 years, all the AI processes are going to be automated as per the survey done by more than 350 artificially intelligent researchers. Though machines are pretty quick to learn so many things that they are way faster than humans in translating books, in writing theses, in coding, decoding, driving a truck, working at retail, managing logistics, doing surgeries, you think about it and they are capable of doing. The time is not far away when all of the human processes are going to be AI driven. In the crowded cities, the most of the deliveries are going to be done by built-in navigation system drones. And the kitchen appliances, they are going to be so smart that they are going to translate the recipes. They are going to assemble the ingredients at voice commands and serve gourmet meals. And the day is not far away when your holographic clone is going to be created or in other words, your identical twin that is way smarter than you. So what's the basic difference between AI and human intelligence? The first and the foremost difference is artificial intelligence is the mimic of human intelligence. That is, it tries to think like human intelligence. Whereby human intelligence is whereby humans use their brain and the capabilities of their brain to take a decision. Artificial intelligence is totally a data driven process when the systems are fed with the data are articulated with the descriptions and meta tagging and they delivered as the desired outcomes much fast paced error free whereby humans they learn from their life their expertise their knowledge and whenever they have to take a decision they use their life experiences their learnings they learn from the mistakes of others they learn from their own experiences trial and error method and they take decision accordingly. Here machine, machines could be much more smarter and much more efficient, but do they have emotions like humans? That we have to find out. Machines cannot display emotions. They can depict expressions. They can decode expressions, but now mimicking expressions or expressing emotions is altogether two different things. Can AI pose threat to humanity? Before I answer this, I want to let you know that it's us humans who are the inventors of the AI. So we are doing human innovations with the humans at the center of the innovation. So when we talk about whether innovation, uh, AI can pose threat to humanity, I really want you to recall all the robotic stories of the science fiction movies whereby robots started posing or working outside the purview that was uh, desired to. 
So what's the one common factor you can find out? The one common factor you will find out is that you would find human beings programming technology to their own musings. Yes, we humans are programming technology to our own will and desire. It's not the guns that take their life. It's the someone who's standing behind the trigger. So the choice is on us. AI can make this world really a better place to live in, providing us a sustainable, holistic life. It can help us undo the damage that we have done to our nature. It can improve our world, cleaner air, more pure water. Or imagine it can help us find the cures for incurable diseases and it can lead us towards the betterment of life. Onus lies on us whether we are deploying the technology rightfully, willfully, successfully and ethically. Ethically is the most important part, doing the right things when no one is watching. When AI got invented, do we remember what we signed up for? Other human beings killed by the machines made by fellow humans is the last thing we want. We want a wonderful world. We want automated processes. AI can reach the areas where humans cannot reach or AI can work in an environment that is hazardous for humans to work. Or how about imagine automating the grocery shopping, which is such a boring process. Once the grocery is automated, humans can spend more time with their families or they can play with their kids or watch their favorite movies. Or same way it could be used in the security. It is the choice again with the humans. There are a few of the countries who are using AI in the warfare machines so that they can dictate other countries. But it could be used the other way around whereby uh, the borders are being getting secured by AI and armed forces, a Navy personnels, Air Force personnels, they can spend more time with their families whereby borders are being secured remotely and more smartly with AI. That's the beauty of AI. So when this AI is going to get equipped, merged with the human intelligence, they are going to be the super beings or the humanoids. They look like us, walk like us, talk like us, but they are the superpower robots equipped with AI, machine learning and data sciences. They, when people talk about whether they can surpass humanity, for that, these AI driven robots, they need to understand human language. Think like us. The lang when we talk about language, where words, they change its meaning with the context or even with the voice modulation. So these robots need to understand these voice modulations. They need to have more richer content. What all we can do is that we humans, we can deploy this technology more rightfully, explore more avenues of education, more avenues of sustainable development, social welfare. We can create a harmonious world whereby this AI could be used towards the betterment of the society and it can act as a quantum leap in human civilization and it can work hand in hand with humans. It's man with machine synergy and AI can provide us a better world and it can work in total harmony with us humans. The only thing we have to do is we humans have to act ethically. Thank you.